I'm Brad Steenport, Regional Sales Manager with Packard, and in this episode of the Packard Academy, we're going to discuss common reasons for ECM failure, as well as the easiest, most cost-effective solution to replace these motors. Some of the most common reasons for premature ECM failure include excessive moisture, voltage spikes, and high static pressure. So why would you go back with an ECM with these potentials for failure? First, let's discuss the reliability improvements of newer designs of ECM over some of the older generations. Here we have Packard's EC Max and Gentex Evergreen EM motors. These motors have potted controls, making them more resistant to moisture. Older generations of ECM have exposed components, making them more prone to issues caused by excessive moisture. There are also external surge protectors available that can help give your customer peace of mind, although it isn't technically needed. ECM respond differently to changes in static pressure than induction motors do, such as PSC. For more information on this, see our video on the Packard Academy on the effects of static pressure on ECM efficiency. The EC Max and Evergreen EM are both constant torque motors, meaning they are not internally increasing their torque to overcome static pressure issues, but rather these are designed to maintain torque, so when static pressure changes, these will maintain a constant torque output and will not increase torque like a constant airflow or variable speed motor will. So let's talk about why would you go back with a PSC? Given the improved reliability of ECM, there is still the cost argument. In the past, ECM have been significantly more expensive than PSC motors. However, as our industry has shifted to primarily ECM being found in new equipment to meet new efficiency standards, we also have better, more cost-effective aftermarket replacement options. To put a PSC in place of an ECM, you need to buy a special board plus a PSC motor. Your customer will lose efficiency they originally paid for in that system, and the system will not perform as it was originally designed to. By the time you factor in the cost of the PSC motor, the board, and your time, your customer does not end up saving much, if anything at all. Plus, the PSC will end up costing your customer much more in energy bills down the road. The system will also lose some functionality, including its design performance and overall efficiency it was designed for. Once you take this into account and factor in the cost effectiveness of using an EC Max or Evergreen motor, these become your absolute best option for replacing ECM. We now have drop-in, plug-and-play, easy replacements for just about any ECM you come across, including variable speed or constant airflow motors. For more information on what makes these motors different than OEM, see our video on the Packard Academy.